Russian authorities say 11 people have been detained after a deadly attack in Moscow. Gunmen stormed a concert hall and opened fire on the crowd. Officials say at least 115 people were killed, including three children. Smoke could still be seen rising from the building this morning. Russia's investigative committee says four of those arrested were directly involved in the rampage. The Islamic State terror group has claimed responsibility for the attack. And the killings come two weeks after the U.S. Embassy in Russia had warned extremists had imminent plans for an attack in Moscow. But the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, dismissed those concerns in a speech earlier in the week. Putin will likely face some scrutiny about this. He was so dismissive, uh, suggesting that this was blackmail, uh, extortion by Western structures, as he put it, uh, in an effort to destabilize Russian society. And it's actually a reminder, it's hard through the fog of this uh, war in Ukraine that's going on and the really soured relations between Russia and the West, to remember that at one point there was a real possibility that Russia and the United States, Russia and the West, would be partners against true enemies like ISIS, terror groups that were attacking societies around the world. The live look at the site of the attack in Moscow. This attack also comes just days after Putin extended his grip on power in Russia for another six years following a highly orchestrated presidential election.